and hello everybody and welcome back to the stream hope you're all having a fantastic saturday and here we are so uh yeah how y'all doing uh we're back again with uh you know uh hollow knight so we're at the above the upper percentile we're above a hundred percent and so there's a few things left to do a few things i have not acquired and then there are like uh, these boss rushes apparently in god home which i might not do all of them but i'm gonna do as many as i can um then when we're finally done with literally all that shit we can finally up and uh <laughs> we can up and actually uh finish the game finally i'm currently looking at a checklist and i'm checklisting down everything and so we're gonna go look for we we have a vessel fragment and a mask shard we have not gotten and I know exactly where to get them, so let's uh, get into it real quick here. Hey, and uh, my slides are not freezing on my end, so now I don't have to worry about that. But my goodness, we are so close to the end of the game. Still unemployed? You know, doesn't happen in a day, so, makes, so you know, oh well, it'll happen eventually. I have a massive pile of veggie gachapon on my bed. Sounds like a good problem to have. You know, I hit, I thought I clicked on Hollow Knight. Did it not go? I guess I'll launch it again. All right, there we go. But yeah, so I have a checklist. And you all know one of the funny things is that in the ancient basin, there's that fountain where you can donate money. It turns out I just didn't donate enough money and I did not receive what I wanted to receive. So we're going to go there first because that's the easiest one. 104%. There's also uh, the, you know, Soul Sanctum guy we can fight, but we can do that later. We can do that any time. The one thing to make it easier is to do this. Oh! Why won't it work here? Why won't this work? Well, that's fucking annoying, but whatever. Um, oh, well. You want to know something else, guys? We need to get 2,400 um of our dream essence because there's a final thing we can get from the seer if we have 2400 also at some point there's supposed to be a guy who spawns here in town let's move our uh teleporter away from him from where the dude would spawn i think he spawns around here But first, we go to Ancient Basin. I'm pretty sure that somewhere around here is the fountain. Here it is. I hate that I'm dropping all of it, but it's too late. Okay, what has been going on with the game 
Like, I literally am hitting there. Oh, nope. I didn't drop all of it. It only dropped the amount that I needed to. That's pretty good. All right. World Soul, acquire all vessel fragments. Good. Now I can go onto the checklist and mark off every single vessel. So. Now. I have one more mask shard I need to get. And through some form of process of elimination... I need to figure out wh which one it is. I did beat the brooding Molek, I'm pretty sure. I did get one from Grubfather. Mask Shart. Oh boy. Reward from Enraged Guardian. Have I done this before? Is this a boss battle I've done? Yes, it is. Given by the Seer, given by the Grey Mourner. Well, we've already done the Grey Mourner. Um, unless we can go back to the Grey Mourner? I guess we could try doing that. Where do we have to go? Okay. Let's see if we can go back to the Grey Mourner. I probably- I don't think we can, but I guess we can try. And again, um, this lady, the Seer, we need- we need 2400 so we can, uh, get a final thing from her. Wait, I forgot to save. How do we get to get down there? Yeah, we just go down to the left, yeah. Kinda crazy those guys explode into, or they, uh, they deal two damage when they hit you. Nope, Grey Mourner is fucking gone. All right. Gone, gone, gone. All right, so... We must have gotten the one from the Grey Mourner. We definitely got the one from the Seer. Found behind a wall in the hive. Oh, man. Son of a bitch. Okay, I think I'm gonna have to go look up... I'm gonna have to manually go through all these. I'm sorry, everyone. Okay, yeah, I have my debt. Oh boy. All right, let's see. We go to the hive here. Okay, let's... We'll try going to the hive, seeing if that's the one that I missed. If it's not, there's others we can go through. It's gonna be a pretty boring stream, probably. Oh, 
So back here. And we're gonna go up to the tram. And from the tram, we'll go to the hive. I just figured that the the one we were most likely to miss is probably in the later stages of the game, so like the hive. Okay, so let me go look at the hive map here. See how what's the fastest way to get there? It's definitely going up rather than straight. Three hits. No, wait, this is not the right way. We need to go up further. Wait, no, that was the right way, apparently. off on the map, I guess. If this was the right way, though, then... Wait, what? Oh, no, yeah, we... This is... Sup okay, I, no, we got this one. We did... We got this one. Yep. Watch out for Cactus Gunman. Yeah, he's massive. So we do have the one from the Hive. We definitely have the one from the Enraged Guardian. Is there any way that I missed the one that you get from the Mantis Village? I guess that's what we're going to go and find out. There's a chance there is one that we somehow missed in Mantis Village. So I guess we go to Queen Station. And we go a-looking. That's the wrong place. That's the Queen's Gardens, not the Queen's Station. There we go. They're vastly far apart. <laughs> More or less just going down.
Only thing I don't like about little bro here is he just doesn't stop making the stupid noise. Stupid grem the gremlin noise. To be honest, Hekka's gunman would be scared of Hollow. Yeah, he somehow would be. Somehow. Why am I so hidden behind that? That's weird. There's no way I haven't gotten this one, right? Surely. Surely I got this one, right? Let's let's make I'm gonna check again, yeah, just to make sure. At the very bottom of this place. You can't hurt it from the top. Okay. Oh, thank you, little dude. supposed to be here somewhere. Let me read about it. Just here when entering? Is it somewhere in a place that I have not... Treaded? No, it's definitely not. So we already have this one. Fuck. But okay, if we have this one, then I'll go cross it off the list. There's another... Okay, let's go to the Royal Waterways instead! I can't believe seven Waddle Dees in a trench coat can play an entire video game. I know, it's incredible, right? I mean, uh... <clears throat> who, who, who's Wan Yang? Or, who's asking? Okay, so we have a place in the waterways we can go and try and go do. It's like right here. Not too far away, technically. But, yeah, let's just go to the Mantis Village. And Popstar, they must make mini computers because otherwise it takes at least three Waddle Days to operate a computer. I imagine so. I like these Mantises. They are very... They are... Whoa! Don't attack that! Don't attack the Mantis friends. Well, I'm going to turn you off if that's a thing you're going to keep trying to do. Stop. Stop it. Do not do that. Little bro, do not do that. Oh, wait, we can go here. Oops. No, 
Don't attack him. Oh, you know, he's at he's attacking him, but it's... Never mind. I'm not happy about that. No, don't! Don't do that. Stop it. Stop attacking them. You menace. Well, you know, we're not... We're actually not walking back up there, so it doesn't really matter, but... You little menace. I forgot about this character. Bob Womped Chicken. Turn you off for now. Oh God, shut the fuck up. Let's go to this girl. I haven't talked to this character in a while. How do you get to them? Actually, how do you actually get to this character? How do I get to this? How do I get to this? Maybe I have to go from the shrine that's all the way down here or some shit? We go. Friend is playing a horror visual novel, and they just, and he said they dropped the hard R N word. Wow. 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 Interesting. you two. Hey guys, we found something that I haven't done yet. Oh no, it's gonna be like this. Don't leave me behind! You forgot about me? I knew you would. Everyone always forgets about me. Oh! Who are you? Your face. You're so... so... Oh, I'm sorry. I got lost. I don't know how I ended up here. I... You came here to rescue me? Bretta? The girl that everyone just ignores? Sorry, when I look at your face, I can hardly... I just can't believe you came all the way down here to rescue me. I didn't think anybody... Sorry. I mean, thank you. I mean, I'd better go. Back to town, I mean. I'd, be I'd better get home. Th thank you. Shining figure, so bright. Oh, well, we rescued somebody, so that's nice. I hope I see them in town. Actually, you know what? I'm going to go look up real quick if this character is like... A character that actually occurs that like we we get to see it see them again hold on all right
All right. Oh my God. Okay, so she is the mask shard. She is the mask shard. Um, let's check this little area though here that I have the map for real quick first though. Just in case. How does a person become a shart? With great determination. Okay, yeah, we got this one. All right. Let's go dirt mouth because she should uh, appear in dirt mouth dirt mouth now. So dark, so troubled. But that's not the only danger I had to overcome in my quest for glory. You've noticed this trophy, haven't you? A keepsake for my final triumphant battle deep in the pit below us. Yes, life ender claimed another victim, and the crowd erupted to ecstatic cheering, cheering that was both loud and utterly sincere. What do I owe my long string of triumphs and victories, you ask? As I said earlier, the key is my personal philosophy, the 57 pre precepts of Zote. Particularly relevant here is the first precept, always win your battles. As for the other 56 precepts, well... And the scheme to fulfill a promise, now I, and now I have succeeded. That, a prom that promise I made so long ago, a promise to myself. A promise to glory for uh, for glory for I, Zote the Mighty. I never doubted myself, never faltered, and now I have achieved everything I desired. Heroic, beautiful. Boom. Why are all mask shards? Oh my god, she has a painting of him. What the fuck? So apparently the actual series of events that's supposed to happen is that you rescue her the first time you find her in the game, then she has a crush on you, and then later she has a crush on Zote. I think that's what's supposed to happen. The Grey Prince. Heaving heavy breeze, flushed from the exertion of battle, the figure emerged from the well. Triumph was his, and trophy he bore to prove it. The fearsome skull of his vanquished opponent. Startling warning he brought to the village, one that rung so true, their white savior. Oh god. But thought a hero by the bugs, was a vicious beast, and this shredded great prince was in truth the hero deserved. With honor and humility, he recounted his quest below, his epic journey of one purpose to find her, to protect her, his gray maiden, his partner in darkness. Oh, God. Oh, my God. What the fuck? What the fuck is happening? What on earth? Terrifying, beautiful, powerful, great Prince Zote. Oh. God damn it. Okay. Oh, come on! Fuck! 
Okay. The sword swinging. Yeah, that was a... Uh... Um... Yeah, so apparently, originally, she's supposed to have, like, a crush on your character, but, uh... Map updated? Get rid of the compass. Close Sprint Master. Yeah, she is, she is a little bit out of her fucking mind, I think. I'm not sure how to avoid some of this stuff. Excuse me. Oh my god. Sense where I can't jump over him. Okay. Oh, uh, whatever. You know what happened is that I didn't actually get an achievement, I don't think. Or maybe I did and I just immediately forgot. I think I do have all the mask shards, probably. Fuck. 
Fuck off, game. <laughs> Okay. Oh, there we go. Defeat Great Prince Zote. All right. <gasps> we have 2,500 now. Precept 2, never let them laugh at you. Fools laugh at everything, even at their superiors. But aware, laughter isn't harmless. Laughter spreads like a disease, and soon everyone is laughing at you. You need to strike at the source of this perverse merriment quickly to stop it from spreading. She looks much more disinterested now. No, 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 not you, not you, Zoe. Great Prince, your words, are they repeating? <laughs> I kicked his ass in her dream, and she immediately is like, wow, this guy's a fucking asshole. <laughs> That's hysterical. Oh, let's get, uh, let's get our map back. Was that really all of the mask shards? It has to be, right? Because there's no way I've forgotten three of them. Hold on, I'm gonna, like, check to see if I got the achievement or whatever. Hold on a moment. Hold on a moment. Can I see my achievements in this game, please? Okay, yeah, I did get them all. Okay. All right. Who's yapping in the background? Is that Zote still? Yeah, that's... Yeah, that's literally only Zote. Okay, we have all the mask shards. I'm gonna write down that I have them all, or mark them down. So we have all the vessels, all the masks, all the coliseums. We fought all the dreamers. We have, according to this... Oh, wait. Okay, the seer's final words. Okay, we're gonna go find the seer. He might not shut the hell up, but we can at least leave. <laughs> I believe later, Breda also leaves the village because she doesn't like Zote anymore. I think that's a thing that happens. Okay, let's go talk to the seer. I believe we have... There's one last thing she has to say to us. <sighs> because we have uh, 20... We have more than 2,400. Hey, lady. Uh, 
You tired? Well, you have a good night then, ma'am, and we will uh, see you next time. Next week, hopefully. Ah, wielder, you've returned. Let me have a look at the dream nail. So much essence, so bright. You truly are the wielder my tribe so long has dreamed of. See you till Wednesday, yep. The folk of my tribe were born from a light, light similar to essence, similar to that powerful blade, though much brighter still. Folk of my tribe were born of a light. They were content to bask in that light and honored it for a time. But another light appeared in our world, a worm that took the form of a king. How fickle my ancestors must have been. They forsook the light that spawned them, turned their backs to it, forgot it even. And so this kingdom was born from that betrayal. But the memories of that ancient light still lingered, hush whispers of faith, until all of Hollownest began to dream of that forgotten light. But what's done is done, and so am I. The wielder has at last appeared, and I have held the memories of my tribe for long enough. It is time for us to be forgotten too. Don't remember us, wielder. Don't honor us. We do not deserve it. Ah, I'm sorry. Light, radiance, I remember you. Okay, ascension collected to... So she just uh, ascended into the fucking force? Which is, uh, pretty crazy. Okay, let's mark down that we've we've heard the seer's final words. Are we 108% complete? Let's look. 107! 107! When is the Arby's fight? The fight at the Ar the famous Arby's stage? I'm not sure. So we I know that we uh, unlocked all the Pantheons, but something we haven't done is we haven't finished uh, the Dreamer at the Soul Sanctum. So we're gonna now we're gonna go and resume that boss grind at the Soul Sanctum. Yeah. I bring the little guy back? I don't know about that. Bitch ass.
Damn it. Fuck you. Number one, Magic Onion. Onion. I guess I'm trying to hit him right there. He's gonna come back.
I have to prioritize just not getting hit in the first phase and save as much health as possible. <laughs> Immediately I uh, do not do the opposite of what I just said I need to do. Fucking Christ. still getting hit I do not understand why I'm getting hit I am hitting the fucking dash oh that's so fucking frustrating every time I dash to the left I got hit every time I dash to the right I didn't and I don't know why why was I still getting hit when dashing to the left fucking nonsense whatever Oh, I hate this move. Nonsense. <laughs> Fucking bullshit, bro. What do you mean that didn't hit him? Did I hit him? I don't even know if I hit him. Serious, mate?
Okay. This is what I will do. I'm gonna stand right here. Okay. Fucking bull shit. Fucking god damn it, bro. Holy shit. What a fucking nuisance of a fight. Absolute nuisance of a fight. What a great start. What do you get from this? I have no idea. I get more boss unlocks on in the god home. Like, I, he, I don't think I get a pickup from him after beating him. Like, we've done the other Dreamer fights like this before. That's fine. go enough of that bullshit okay mortality defeat the soul tyrant listen in my dreams i could see it the kingdom's salvation the cure for the plague the answer was in the soul that animates our bodies but the king why he opposed everything i did his jealousy, his madness. By standing against me, he robbed me of my immortality. Now the king and his kingdom are dead, but I will live forever. Oh! Cool. Now we have 28. There's no need. I didn't need 28, but we have 28 now. <laughs> All right. Infinite money? What is this? I mean, this is a bunch of souls.
Fucking dead meat. Still 107 percentage. That sucks. I don't know how to get further. I guess we have to go to the god home now. I think that's what we gotta do. Actually, is there re- uh, I think I can just teleport back, actually. But yeah, I guess we gotta go and do the pantheons. In God Home, that, and that's what this checklist says is the next thing for us to do. And they have the Master, the Artist, the Sage, and the Knight. All right. The checklist says we're supposed to be 108%, but we're at 107 for some reason. And I don't know why that is. Precept 3! Always be rested! Fighting and adventure take their toll on your body. When you rest, your body strengthens and repairs itself. The longer you rest, the stronger you become. Precept 4! Forget your past! The past is painful, and thinking about your past could only bring you misery. Think about something else instead, such as the future or some food. Precept 5! Strength beats strength. Is your opponent strong? No matter. Simply overcome their strength with even more strength and they'll soon be defeated. Can you literally make him say all 60 of them? Precept 6. Choose your own fate. Our elders teach us that our fate is chosen for us before we are even born. I disagree. Precept 7. Mourn not the dead. When we die, do things get better for us or worse? There's no way to tell, so, so we shouldn't bother mourning, or celebrating for that matter. Precept 8, travel alone. Who's the poor guy listening to him? That's Breda! We rescued her while she was trapped in the fungal wastes, which is something we were supposed to do when we first found her, like, like, ten streams ago. But, uh... <laughs> Unfortunately, that's not what happened. We found her really late in the game, and so... This is happening, I guess. You can rely on nobody, and nobody will always be loyal. Therefore, nobody should be your cons constant companion. Precept 9. Keep your home tidy. Your home is where you keep your most prized possession, yourself. Therefore, you should make an effort to keep it nice and clean. Precept 10. Keep your weapon sharp. Make sure the... I'm making sure that my weapon life ender is kept well sharpened at all times. This makes it easier to cut things. Precept 11, mothers will always betray you? This precept explains itself! What?! <laughs> precept 12, keep your cloak dry. If your cloak gets wet, dry it as soon as you can. Wearing wet cloaks is unpleasant and can lead to illness. Precept 13, never be afraid. Fear can only hold you back. Facing your fears can be a tremendous effort. Therefore, you should just not be afraid in the first place. <laughs> Fucking motherfuckers dropping Dune quotes here. Let the fear flow through you and pass over you, and then only you will remain. <laughs> fear is the mind killer. I will let fear pass over and through me, and then only I will remain. Precept 14, respect your superiors. If someone is your superior in strength or intellect or both, you need to show them your respect. Don't ignore them or laugh at them. Precept 15, one foe, one blow. You should only use a single blow to defeat an enemy. Any more is a waste. Also, by counting your blows as you fight, you'll know how many foes you've defeated. <laughs> Precept 16, don't hesitate. Once you've made a decision, carry it out and don't look back. You'll achieve much more this way. <laughs> 
Except some 17 believe in your strength. Others may doubt, but there's someone you can always trust, yourself. Make sure to believe in your own strength and you will never falter. We can really make him say all 60 of them. Precept 18. Seek truth in the darkness. This precept also explains itself. Precept 19. If you try, succeed. If you're going to attempt something, make sure you achieve it. If you do not succeed, then you have actually failed. Avoid this at all costs. <laughs> Precept 20. Speak only the truth. When speaking to somebody that's courteous and also efficient, to speak truthfully. Beware. Though, that speaking truthfully may make you enemies. This is something you'll have to bear. <laughs> Precept 21. Be aware of your surroundings. Don't just walk along staring at the ground. You need to look up every so often to make sure nothing takes you by surprise. Precept 20. Abandon the nest. As soon as I could, I left my birthplace and birthplace and made my way out into the world. Do not linger in the nest. There's nothing for you there. Precept 23. Identify the foe's weak point. Every foe you encounter has a weak point. It's a crack in their shell or being asleep. You must constantly be alert and scrutinizing your enemy to detect their weaknesses. Holy shit, okay. Precept 24. Strike the foe's weak point. Once you've identified your foe's weak point as per the previous precept, strike it. They will. This will instantly destroy them. <laughs> Instantly destroy them. <laughs> There's something about that wording that is so funny. Precept 25. Protect your own weak point. Be aware that your foe will try to identify your weak point, so you must protect it. The best protection? Never having a weak point in the first place. <laughs> Precept 26. Don't trust your reflection. When peering at certain shining surfaces, you may see a copy of your own face. The face will mimic your movements and seems to similar to your own, but I don't think it can be trusted. Priest, oh, that's why he hates us, because we look like him. That makes sense. Okay. My precept one, don't kill your enemy if you can make your enemy kill themselves. <laughs> Precept 27, eat as much as you can. When having a meal, eat as much as you possibly can. This gives you extra energy. It means you can eat less frequently. Precept 28, don't peer into the darkness. If you peer into the darkness and you can't see anything for too long, your mind will start to linger over old memories. Memories are to be avoided as per Precept 4. Precept 29, develop your sense of direction. It's easy to get lost when traveling through winding, twisting caverns. Having a good sense of direction is like having a magical map inside your head. Very useful. Is Zot Terry A. Davis? Maybe. Precept 30, never accept a promise. Spurn the promises of others as they are always broken. Promises of love or betrothal ought to be avoided especially. <laughs> Oh, poor Bretta. She just, she just wanted to fuck me or Zote. And she, she, she's not going to get either. <laughs> Precept 31. Disease lives inside of dirt. You'll get sick if you spend too much time in filthy places. If you are staying in someone else's house, demand the highest level of cleanliness from your host. Precept 32. Names have power. That is a god... Is this going to be an anime reference? Because there's an anime that does something like this. Names have power. And so to name something is to grant it power. I myself named my nail Life Ender. Do not steal the name I came up with. Event, invent your own. <laughs> Recept 33. Show the enemy no respect. Being gallant to your enemies is no virtue. If someone opposes you, they don't deserve respect or kindness or mercy. Recept 34. Don't eat immediately before sleeping. Well, that's just common sense. This could cause restlessness and indigestion. It's just com- Fuck you, Zote. Precept 35. Up is up, down is down. If you fall over in the darkness, it can be easy to lose your bearing and forget which way is up. Keep this precept in mind. <sighs> Names of power has been an old Faye saying forever. Oh, yeah. I imagine. Precept 36. Eggshells are brittle. 
<laughs> Once again, this precept explains itself. Precept 37, borrow, but do not lend. If you lend and are repaid, you gain nothing. But if you borrow, but do not repay, you gain everything. <laughs> <laughs> if you keep half an eggshell intact, you can use it as an eco-friendly planter. I believe it. Precept 38. Beware the mysterious force. A mysterious force bears down on us from above, pushing us downward. If you spend too long in the air, the force will crush you against the ground and destroy you. Beware. Gravity? Precept 39. Eat quickly and drink slowly. Your body is a delicate thing and you must feel it with great deliberation. Food must go in as fast as possible, but fluids at a slower rate. Precept 40. Obey no law but your own. Laws written by others may inconvenience you or be a burden. Let your own desires be the only law. Precept 41. Learn to detect lies. When others speak, they usually lie. Scrutinize and question them relentlessly until they reveal their deceit. Precept 42. Spend Geo when you have it. Some will cling on to their Geo, even taking it into the dirt with them when they die. It is better to spend it when you can so you can enjoy various things in life. Where did he learn half of this stuff? From TikTok? I don't know. Bug TikTok. What if his head is TikTok? Precept 43. Never forgive. If someone asks forgiveness for you, for instance, a brother of yours, always deny it. That brother, or whoever it is, doesn't deserve such a thing. <laughs> Tar Precept 3. Kill everyone now! Is Precept 4 eat shit? Precept 44, you cannot breathe water. Water is refreshing, but if you try to breathe it, you are in for a nasty shock. Precept 45, one thing is not another. This one should be obvious, but I've had others try to argue that one thing, which is clearly what it is and not something else, is actually some other thing, which it isn't. Stay on your guard. Precept 5, do not ask where Precept 4 went. <laughs> Precept 46. The world is smaller than you think. When young, you tend to think the world is vast, huge, gigantic. It's only natural. Unfortunately, it's actually quite a lot smaller than that. I can say this now having traveled everywhere in the land. Precept 47. Make your own weapon. Only you know exactly what is needed in your weapon. I myself fashioned life ender from shell wood at a young age. It has never failed me, nor I it. His sword is a wooden sword. Zote is wielding a wooden sword. My god. Precept 6, obey Sky Onion. Well, ain't that, ain't that true? Precept 48, be careful with fire. Fire is a type of hot spirit that dances about recklessly. It can warm you and provide light, but it will also singe your shell if it gets too close. Precept 49, statues are meaningless. Do not honor them. No one has ever made a statue of you or I, so why should we pay attention to any of them? <laughs> Precept 50, don't linger on mysteries. Some things in this world appear to us as puzzles or enigmas. If the meaning behind something is not immediately evident, though, don't waste any time thinking about it. Just move on. <laughs> Precept 51. Nothing is harmless. Given the chance, everything in this world will hurt you. Friends, foes, monsters, uneven paths. Be suspicious of them all. He keeps saying baklava hooptis. <laughs> Precept 52. Beware the jealousy of fathers. Fathers believe they become they believe that because they created us, we must serve them and never exceed their capabilities. If you wish to forge your own path, you must vanquish your father and simply abandon him. What the fuck? Precept 53. Do not steal the desires of others. 
Every creature keeps their desires locked up inside of themselves. If you catch a glimpse of another's desires, resist the urge to claim them as your own. It will not lead you to happiness. It's kind of funny how Zote has a lot of shit that he keeps saying that is the most deranged nonsense ever, but then he also says random shit that's actually pretty intelligent. If it weren't for the fact that he has a wooden sword, I would think he might have some shred of intelligence within him. Precept 54. If you lock something away, keep the key. Nothing should be locked away forever, so hold on to your keys. You'll eventually return and unlock everything you hid away. Precept 55. Bow to no one. There are those in this world who impose their will on others. They claim ownership over your food, your land, your body, and even your thoughts. They have done nothing to earn these things. Never bow to them and make sure to disobey their commands. Precept 56. Do not dream. Dreams are dangerous things. Strange ideas, not your own, can worm their way to your mind. But if you resist those ideas, sickness will rack your body. Best to not dream at all, like me. Precept 57. Obey all precepts. Most importantly, you must commit all these precepts to memory and obey them all unfailingly, including this one. Hmm. Have you truly listened to everything I've said? Let's start again and repeat the 57 precepts of Zot. Precept 1. Always win your battles. So this is what she means when she says, why are you repeating yourself? God, that's funny. Okay. That took a, a million years and is entirely my fault, but I wanted to I wanted to see if they literally had fifth like all of them. And uh, I was not disappointed. <laughs> What the fuck is the fastest path to this place? Hmm. Maybe it's King Station? Jesus Christ, okay. That's not what I want to do. Well, that was pleasant. Fuck up, Duolingo. Man, we came here from the shit pile, huh? I thought there might be a treasure thing I missed right there.
No. This is not where I mean to go. Here we go. This is where we want to go. Sounds these big grubs make kind of makes me think of regenerators from Resident Evil 4 a little bit. Wait a fucking moment. How do I do the goddamn hunter? Well, I've already come this far. Uh, platforms, huh? I want to go travel those platforms. And I am in fact shocked. I completely missed that there were platforms. Ah. Huh. No! Fuck! I have to I have to go there and then jump on that pretty in a very specific timing. Yes! I got it, okay. Alright. What the fuck is going on here? You can see all those fungus creatures in the background. That's cool. Oh, what's this? A place I have not been. What the fuck? I wish I could dive, like, underwater. I don't know why I'm bothering. Habit, I guess. Oh, this is also treasure. Okay, interesting. That was just a new path to get here. And I never, uh... I never paid attention. I never saw this. Wow. Is there something I'm missing, though? There's something I'm missing. I think this is just a way to go in that direction. Wow. Mm. 
Nice. Okay, I can come back to God home whenever I fucking want to now. Map updated, I assume if I go here. Hmm. I guess. But okay. Still 101. Here are the Pantheons. Cool, let's uh, try one. Actually, hold on a moment. Um, get rid of this. And I guess Sprint Master might as well. And the of the Master. Okay. Okay, now I have to... Uh, 
uh, it hit me. Oh, right, I can't touch her. Duh. Finished my second work and absolutely had to go wash my hair. It wouldn't wait. What did you miss? We're just fighting bosses in God Home. I think we just completed one of the pantheons and or this is a break between fights. Okay, it's a break between fights. Oh. Swimming in the shit. <laughs> Stage two. Time for a blood test. Uh oh. That guy was cool. I hope we didn't actually kill him. We fought so many of these dudes. In the damn gladiator arena like these guys cannot really fucking do anything to me at this point well that time I kind of just let it happen I guess he has more health as a boss than he does in the arena but
There we go. Nail Master's Glory Enjoyer. Yeah, I like power attacking. It seems very intuitive. Uh, okay. Godseeker. Why hast thou crept into this pantheon, O meager one? The noise of thine wriggling creates much discord, drowning out the godly resonances we attune ourselves to. Dost thou mean to thwart our sacred goal? Dost envy drive thou to such madness? We pray that the gods of this kingdom punish thee, obliterate thee, utterly destroy thee. Creep on, meager one, and may the gods utterly destroy thee. O oh, gods of Hollowness, show us your might. We shall attune ourselves to thee and ascend ever higher. Okay, is that it? That's all you have to say? Also, welcome, Guy Montag. Hope you haven't uh, burned any books recently. Uh, is this actually a real fight? I don't recall... Oh. Okay. I don't recall fighting this guy before in the in the game. Oh. He has a 1-2. I haven't fought these guys like in the lore before. So I don't actually know. Do I have to kill them both at the same time? Is it like one of those fights in World of Warcraft? Don't tell me these guys are beatable by me just standing on the wall. Whoa! Okay, yeah, no, they are not beatable by me just standing on the wall. Uh, I think I'm dead, if I'm gonna be honest. Damn it! Yep. Oh, this is God Home exclusive. Oh, okay. Shit. No, 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 no. Well, that sucks. I thought, I, I assumed that they were like the last fight. Oh, I, have to, I really have to start from the beginning, huh? Oh, come the fuck on. At least your nail art lost to the nail masters. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, it's lore accurate. I cannot believe I got hit by this guy. That is embarrassing. Oh, there's a practice room to train for their fight, huh? It's one of those practice rooms. Okay. Oh, come on. Don't give me this. Oh, well. There we go.
Oops. Oh, fuck, he is. Okay. That's right, I have to fling these stones at him. This version of this boss is just so. Milk toast because of the the dream version being so fucking crazy. All oh, right, I forgot the waves. I forgot about that. That home would be impossible to beat if there wasn't a practice room, especially with Pantheon 5. I don't know if Pantheon 5 is, a, is something that we're gonna do in, in my run. Oh, fucking Christ. Gotta wait for the Moss Charger. Oh, wait. That's probably okay. Fuck. Okay, that sucked. You can just... You can just whack his face non-stop. I'm not sure what you mean by that. He goes underground and shit. What are you doing trying to walk over to where I am? Whoops. Okay. That was quick. I'm gonna heal off your stun and then smack you again. Oh. Sha! Yep, over and over again. Oh, I didn't pay attention to that. Oh. Okay, gotcha. Oh, he gets knocked back? Oh, I see. So, is Nail... Is Nail Master Glory good on... Does this build I have make sense for the dual Nail Masters? I'm not sure. Do I want... I don't know. I feel like it's... go. Just walk around these. Unless you don't have quick slash. I don't know. I don't use I don't use quick. I don't use quick slash actually. You want to know why? It's because I figured it just, uh, it just kind of is a strategy that runs counter to Nailmaster Glory. So I'm just like, oh, I want a power attack. I don't really care about attacking super quickly. Okay. Oh boy. Shit balls. Literally. Yeah. 
Oh boy. Oh, I didn't think he would. I did not think he would, uh. I don't know if I can even hit him midair. Oh, I can. Never mind. I did. Annoying. That's embarrassing. All right. Oh, and Dive spell can force a dung defender out of the ground. Oh. I had no idea. took damage from this boss that's embarrassing there we go hey fuck you I don't like this guy hey time to fight the nail masters Okay, that, uh, I have to really... Whoops. God damn it. Uh, not sure what the window to hit him really is. Stop, stop, stop. Okay. Interesting. Oh. Whoops. Oh, it'd be embarrassing if I failed now. Oh. Okay. I need to... God damn it, I'm gonna be so pissed off if I fuck this up. He recovers so quickly from that. Ah! 
Okay. Oh man, I'm gonna be so mad. No! Oh god! Ah! Uh, shite! Fucking Christ! Okay. Oh, what the? easy to get complacent for the second one because most people don't know he has more hit points. Oh god. Gotta keep fighting these bozos. Whoa. Oh, come on. I'm not gonna lie, you're smooth with the nail aren't. So, I mean, I just keep, I've just done so much power attacking since getting the ability. messing up my range though because throughout various boss fights I've attempted I've uh throughout various boss fights I've done different lengths for the nail I don't always so I don't always judge distance very well okay and Back to packing my clay items while I do this to myself. Well, you know, just uh, stop when it gets way too much, obviously, you know? So if I had the fast thing, I could just kill this guy easily. Well, I don't, I don't have the fast attack thing, so... Oh, whoops. Ah, come on. God damn it! Christ Almighty. No! 
There we go. With the existence of quick slash, nail arts are pretty much irrelevant except in rare cases, but you make it work. Oh. And when I'm not busy being bad at the game, yes, I, I guess I guess I sort of make it work. while she's down. Sha! Oh, come on! I've had so... I have had so much weirder instances of hitting her somehow. <laughs> Fuck you. God damn. Why did they put this bench here? Uh, I guess it's to change runes, I suppose. Man. Oh, I walked into him. Oops. I will admit, uh, my devotion to the power attack has a bit of misplacement in any of the bosses that teleport everywhere, because it's so hard to get in the, to always get in that power attack when, uh, they're perpetually teleporting everywhere. So... Okay, oh wow, that does work. Okay, that's cool. Oh shit. <laughs> oh shoot. Okay, I'm gonna... Oh, that was it? Okay. Whee! This motherfucker again. I killed so many of them in the fucking gladiator arena, so it's just like... It's kind of strange seeing him here on the- on this boss list. Oh, well, that time, that was certainly me being a fool. Oh. Oh, there we go. Oh, uh, Malek, again. All right. Shit, well. I swear the fucking jump box on this enemy is so strange sometimes. Oh, there it goes. Soul Warrior thinks he's him. He ain't even a boss. He's a strong minion at best, yeah. And, like, many streams ago, I did, like, Trial of the Fool, and I completed the Trial of the Fool, and my god, the number of t that That whole gladiator thing really made me, uh, have no respect for any of the soul enemies anymore, <laughs> because they're just... You have to kill so many of them. All right. 
Will I, uh, fuck it all up again? Let's see. Was it rough? It took a while, yes. It, I had to practice it off stream. Oh, what the fuck? Okay. Uh. Okay, I need to... Stop being a fucking idiot again. Oh, God. Okay. Were you also using Nail Master with it? Yeah, of course! <laughs> well, actually, I don't even remember, if I'm gonna be honest. It's very cool. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh. No, stop. Stop, stop, you're way too close. Oh, God damn it. They're way too close. Oh, I just did not pay attention. Oh boy. Oh, I am so dead. There's no way I got this. Not that. Uh. Why did I walk into that? Holy shit! Wait! People sleep on nail hearts? I mean... Wow, what the fuck? Okay. I assume this is like a bronze medal because I fucking suck. Check the hall, the hall gods below. All right, cool. Did that give us a percentile? Yeah! Gave us a percentile. Check the Hall of Gods below, okay? I mean, I've like looked at these statues before. I assume though, that we can find uh, nail art, the nail art fellas. Oh, this is new. Yeah, there it is. The bulletin near the entrance. Oh, is that the one that mentions uh, what bosses I have and have not gotten, right? Yeah. Ah, I see. Okay. Now, if these have nothing to do with actual percentile... Oh, God. I'm going to have to lean forward. Hold on a moment. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I, 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 uh, I remember that I can fight them here and that there's this th this list here. Um, a question I have, though... When the fuck do I get to go to the hunter? <laughs> can I finally get to the hunter yet? You don't have to go through the entire pantheon like you did for the Nail Master. Right, right, right. So, yeah, so I can practice them and whatever. Wait a minute, can I use so these so these are only for practice, I assume I can't um 
do each of these and then it just the pantheon clears itself like i assume that's not how that would work huh brothers of the nail trained in combat by the great nail sage gods by toil and nail bound brothers sworn to guard the weak masters of the sacred ground help us find the god we seek okay all right This guy has two medals. Oh, right, because he has a dream version. God, the dream version of that guy is so hard. Well, he was so hard. Now I beat him. Now, now I don't care. Hmm. My goodness. Cool, cool. Yeah, there's the stupid Zote. The dream Zote. Dream nail the statue to change it. Oh. Seems I just do normal nail to change it. <laughs> Maybe with Nosk I don't? Hmm. Or this? Ah, yes. Okay, I see now. And you do turn it on and off. Okay, that makes sense. These ones you need normal to turn on and off. Right. That That's cool. That's cool. So yeah, if I get stuck on a fight at that's at the very end of one of the pantheons, then I go down here to practice it. That makes sense to me. Makes a lot of sense to me. I think my only the only issue in my brain is that like I'm just not understanding like when I get to go to the hunter with my journal. <laughs> what the hell is this? Simply God stands at the Pantheon's peak. So th this is a boss that go we go all the way up, up, or something for. Again, Pantheon's peak. Pantheon's peak, right? Oh, hey, there we go. And who's this? Oh yeah, that's the, that's Gorb. I'm hearing the X-Files theme being blasted in the living room. Uh-oh, your parents are watching the X-Files. <laughs> or they're watching a meme video. For the mark? The hunter's mark! Yeah, like, I keep going to the hunter and he keeps not doing shit. I keep getting more and more... What? Well, that's the thing. Like, I got, I got to, like, 148 or whatever, and then it just kept adding more. And I don't know. Like, are they supposed to... Are the... Are these new ones supposed to be that I have to find them here? Because <laughs> I kept trying to go to them and I just can't find it. Back to the hunter, I mean, over and over again. Just like, is this the last one? No. Is this the last one? No. Is this the last one? But yeah, so I see that these last ones here, these are the bosses at the other ones. Of course, there's Grim, which we beat. Bosses in the bulletin? Oh god, I have to actually figure out where they are. Christ almighty. Which the checklist I had mentioned, mentioned that. Like... So between Mantis Lords and Orlobul, I don't know what the fuck that is, don't know what's between Nosk and the Collector. Aren't these last four like the la final bosses of the game, I guess? Am I going to have to go and do some research on what these bosses are I'm missing? Because I don't know otherwise where the fuck they are. For some, Usually I'm pretty good at remembering stuff in Metroidvanias. Like when I played Axiom Verge, I'm pretty sure I had decent memory of how... Uh, nah, just go through the pantheons there within... Oh, and they count? Oh, okay. Did you say Olimar in that sunny bug voice? I'm sorry, I don't know what you mean by that. What do you mean sunny bug voice? <laughs> I don't... <laughs> I... A lot of them are God Home exclusives, right. Okay, so then I have to do God Home to get the Hunter's Mark. Okay. 
All right, that makes sense. Okay. Then that then that confirmed my suspicions that I have to just do God home, and then I can then I can go to the hunter's mark. Oh, okay. All right, cool. Um. Oh, silly bug voice. Which one? <laughs> Old blue? When I what I, what I said. Old blue? Uh, <laughs> Old blue? blue? <laughs> Old bar. Might actually be missing some real world creatures. Yeah, that's the thing though, is I don't know how the fuck I would have possibly missed them. Like, I've gone everywhere. I've gone fucking everywhere. You know what? Do I need to look at okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna look up. I'm gonna dead ass look up. Like uh the journal. Uh the journal. I'm gonna literally I'm literally going to the fucking wiki right now. Hunter's journal. Hey mouse, can you click properly please? Okay. Holy shit. Okay. I'm gonna cross-reference this from the very top because... Everywhere? <laughs> Plus you were only on 108% for beating part one, so it implies you're missing a percentage from the base game. Son of a bitch, what enemy have I not acquired? So, Crawlid... Okay, let me go. Crawl it, Vengefly, Vengefly, King, Gruz, Gruz. Oh my god. Tick, tick. Aspid, Aspid, Aspid. I keep opening the wrong tabs, okay. Aspid, 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 three, so three Aspids. I see your inventory. I'm pretty sure I have all charms. I know that there's one we can replace the Grim Child with. There's like a guy that spawns in uh, in Dirtmouth. You're probably missing Winged Nosk. Yeah, I did notice in the boss thing before when I looked at that there is a Winged Nosk. Wait a minute, is Winged Nosk a dream boss? Do I have to go to Nos Nosk's corpse and record that? I guess. And for the inventory, I have all of this and all of these. I confirmed I got the achievement for these before you entered the stream. Oh, wait a minute. Do I not... Wait, wait, wait. Do I not, do I not have the good Howling Wraiths? Wait, wait. Do I... Do I not have the good Howling Wraiths? The black Howling Wraiths? Do I not... Do I not have that? I think I don't have that. Shite! Shite! How the fuck? That's what this is called. That's what that's called, right? Howling Wraiths? Yeah. But what is it called? What is it at? Okay, so... What's the upgraded version of it? Let's go. I'm gonna go look it up. I'm looking it up. You reach the room for the, abi the Abyss Shriek. You have to perform a Howling Wraith. So it's called the Abyss Shriek? Son of a bitch. Upgraded to the Abyss Shriek. To get the upgrade. Right, okay. Oh, it's that place! It's that fucking place! It's always one of these places where, like, I found a mysterious thing and then I was like, well, I don't know what to do here, and then I forget about it. That's how I forgot about Breda. <laughs> I just never did it because I couldn't figure it out at the time. Then a week later when I returned to the game on stream, of course I'm not going to remember that because I... It, a fucking week has passed.
Whoa, what the fuck? I didn't know you were alive. Hallowed land, tune, gods. Oh, wait, what? Oh, right, no, that's how you get into God Home normally, by slashing them. I'm dumb. <laughs> I'm so pro- I didn't know this- this thing came to life. Maybe if I get all the Pantheons, they'll, like, be a coherent person or something? Don't blame you for missing the Abyss Shriek. Most of us do. I mean, it's- it's, it's just one of those random areas where, like, you, when you reach it the first time, it's like... I feel like this is... I feel like this is something that... Like, it, like there's a lot of things in this game where, I, where I'm convinced that they're just, like, there to look cool, and they're just not... Or they're, like, lore objects and not... Other things. I think going to the Royal Waterways will be faster, if I'm gonna be honest. You don't use Dream Gates? Well, my Dream Gate is currently set to right over here. It's set, it's set so that I can... Or are you implying to me right now that there are multiple Dream Gates you can acquire? Did I miss multiple dream gates having? Oh, okay. And we already talked to that guy. We have the upgraded nail. Oh, I forgot to get my stupid ass uh, compass thing back on. That sucks. Now I have to figure out where I am. How did I miss? What the fuck? Okay. Okay, yeah, I, I think I've sprint ma I forget I think I've sprint master and I forgot to take it off. Whoops. I vaguely know where I am. I think I just go up from here and I can get to a thing. Where's your Arby's gate? Bro, I wish I knew. I think if we just I think if I just go up here, there's a save station. I know, I know that's the fastest way to the abyss. I'm trying to figure out where I am on the fucking mini-map so I can go to the stag area. I think I know where I am, yeah. I think I vaguely know where I am. Am I... Am I... Where am I? Oh wait, what am I... I could have just gone to the safe... The fucking... Oh my god, what am I doing? I can just go here, turn my goddamn map thing on, and then I know where I am. Oh, now I'm so far down, though. Whatever. I am fucking blind without the stupid map. I'm fucking blind. I don't know where anything is. Okay! Now I fucking know. Jesus Christ almighty. Okay. This is... We are going way, 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 way too fucking far over time for this, but... I feel stupid for not having gotten the last, uh, spell thing. Is this just- yeah, just- just go straight there. Oh, if you just keep going right after exiting waterways. Oh, right, yeah, like, uh, the King Station? I suppose. I suppose it's close by. This one is just- it's either go up or go right, you know, so... I guess just going right would have been a more easy thing to remember.
Time to go down, down, down. <sighs> oh, it still feels embarrassing that I missed this. God damn it. Oh, well. I never know in this game at what point spells are really worth it. Like, I always like trying to figure out randomly if somehow they work, but I don't know. Just having the long nail and power attacks has carried me the entire game. And so I just don't really know when spells are truly a good idea. Other than for movement. <laughs> This will put you at 109. The rest of the Pantheon are two. The rest of the Pantheon are two to four, so 100. Yeah, I, I, I remember that it's 112. Yeah. I'm not gonna do the boss rush Pantheon where you do like all 45. I feel like that's just not gonna be a thing that I wanted to do. <laughs> Even if that misses, puts me at like 111. I'm just, I just, oof. Okay, so right here, we were supposed to do the... I understand now. What the fuck? Interesting, all right. Consumed the Abyss Shriek? We're holding up? Yes, it's, it's the same spell. For context, that Abyss Shriek with Shaman Stone deals a 120, and the Nail Art deals 52. <laughs> wow, I guess I'm just a scrub then, uh, not bothering with... Uh... I think the problem with the playstyle, whenever I go to try spells, is that I, I find I'm in a position where I need to start hitting them with the nail to get all my soul back, but then the nail deals no damage or doesn't have any range on it. And then I come back to being like, okay, well then I need like range on this nail so that I can charge up my soul to use spells. But then I end up hitting them more often with the nail than I would end up hitting them with the spells anyway. And it's like, well, what's the point? <laughs> like I end up hitting them with the nail more often as a result anyway. So, so shouldn't I then just have the nail do more damage and then it's just let more intuitive than dealing damage to do more spells? I am trying to hit down and I don't know why it's not hitting down, but all right, there we go. I can actually just teleport out of here. Oh, but then I'm in the waterways again. I'm gonna go, so I'm, I'm gonna go like to, I think I'll go to the hidden station and then we'll be done for today. Because there's a bench at the hidden station. The playstyle is fine, but spells just too broken. Plus, the D dark spells make you invincible after landing it. The D dark spell. Oh, so you mean the upgrade spells? They make you invincible when you land because of the shadow. Why not Dream Gates back to God Home? Oh yeah, there is like a. There technically is, like, a, a save station right in God Home, right? Oh, well, now I'm just going to commit myself to doing this because I, I've, I've already started. <laughs> I've already started. The dive spell gives iframes. Wow. I had no idea. Dive has always been cool looking, but again, it's the same sort of spell effect thing where it's like, well, I'm just going to hit with the nail more often anyway because I have to charge up my soul. But then admittedly, I'm then sitting around thinking, what am I even going to use the soul for? Because most of the fights late game don't give you, um, it, they don't give you room to heal. And so it's like, what am I even using? <laughs> what am I going to use the fucking soul for? Like, right? But then if I'm using the soul, it's like, well, I have to hit them with the nail anyway. Uh, Okay. What am I doing? I, I hit the save button. And that's going to be it for tonight. 
Holy moly. Thank you all very much for joining me here tonight. I need to get this guy out of this. I hate that sitting down makes this motherfucker start being a fucking stupid ass. How about okay? Thank you all very much for joining me here tonight. Really appreciate you coming here and hanging out with me. Um, we'll be back tomorrow. Uh, oh, actually, no, we're going to be back in uh, four days on Wednesday. Probably going to be a chill stream. But then next Friday and Saturday, we'll be uh, back with Hollow Knight to finish it up. Going to, I guess, just do these Pantheons. Uh, go talk, then go talk to the hunter, get the hunter's mark, and that'll be, uh, then we'll finally finish the goddamn game. Um, if you happen to be new here, and you enjoyed hanging out with us tonight, we think I deserve a, a follow. I appreciate that quite a bit. We stream three times a week for approximately two hours, and this stream will be re-uploaded to YouTube tomorrow night, where we'll join every single stream I have ever done. So if there are any you want to catch up on, you can find all of them there. Link is in the About section. And yeah, 30 minutes overtime... It's very much a product of me just being stubborn and stupid, so I should get out of your hair now. So thank you all very much for being here. Appreciate your support in every capacity. Hope you have a good afternoon, evening, morning, etc. I will see you all again soon with a chill stream, but then more Hollow Knight. Perhaps the end of Hollow Knight. Ciao!